Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. It's me, Techie Shadow, back with another coding tutorial. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add delay because um, delay kind of makes it look that it's more realistic that the computer the computer is calculating at real time and just makes it look much more better. It just makes it feel, feel, um, it just makes your program feel a lot better. Okay, um, so there's a simple command for delay in C Sharp, but how to integrate it in the program is kind of hard, but uh, it nothing is that hard. So we are going to be learning how to add delay right now. Okay, so let me share my screen and show you guys. So right now over here, we basically have like a normal thing, a normal program, just to say it. So now to add delay, you first need to go up here. You see this using system? So basically um, it is important, but it just saves time. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be explaining this using system later, like next video, I think. But okay, let's see. Using, and we had to write system, okay, and a dot threading dot, no, dot tasks. Okay, so this is basically uh, the command for delay. I mean, this is basically like the using command for delay. Okay, now let's just write maybe like a console dot write line to test it out. Um, then I'm going to be showing you in real life. Uh, I'm going to be adding it to one of like the calculator projects. So yeah, stick on for that. Hello, uh, user. Okay, um, now if you search on Google, the simple command would be async. No, wait, await, oh, it's await. Oh, yeah, what's wrong with me today? Await oh, task dot delay. Now we have to keep in form of like thousand, so 1000 is one second. So we're just going to be keeping 1000. But you can notice that this shows a error. Now the thing is that, um, let's read it. The await operator can only be used within a async and async method. So basically this method is not async. This main method is not async. So how to make it async? Well, it's simple. Just write async and task. Yep, um, you're kind of done. So now this, this is uh, just like not giving an error. So let's see, console dot right line by, <laughs> Oh wait, I forgot the quotation marks. They're really important. Okay, um, so if we now go ahead and run the program, it should say hello user and um, the program would wait for one second and would say bye. And then of course, this is the read key program. Okay, yeah, it's running. Read key program basically just closes the a window whenever you press a key after the code is over. Okay, let's see. Come on. Um, yeah, by the way, I'm not going to be explaining the full use of using systems, um, maybe not now or in the next video because I have something planned which is kind of important <laughs> when you are coding. So yeah, you have to stick around for that. Maybe next video. So yeah, come on, run thing. <laughs> yeah, it's finally going to run. When you know when it's going to run, when it basically this thing turns um, orange. Well, some projects have trouble loading. Please review the output output for more details. Excuse me. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. So this thing is there. Yes. So did it just? 
I completely missed the one second of it. I think you guys saw it. Let me just run again. Run, start debugging. Because I, I swear I completely missed it. I was looking at the things right here. Uh, come on, run fast. Yep. Hello, user. One minute, uh, one second. Wait, yeah. Okay, so now um, I'm going into a time lapse of just quickly making a calculator that I have shown in my previous videos. So um, if you haven't seen that, go check that out after this video. The link is up there. Okay, so let's get in the time lapse. So um, this is what we have got so far. This is basically like kind of like the smallest and the easiest calculator I can make in like five minutes. So it may not be completely same as the one I showed in the video, but this works just fine. Okay, so now um, we have made this um, method async. So uh, we can start adding delay. So I think uh, over here I'll add like a, Oh wait, task dot delay. I'll add like uh, one uh, one point five seconds, and uh, I'm just going to copy that and paste it. Um, wait, don't do that. Yeah, I'm stupid. We are right here. Yeah, I usually like it so that it doesn't have to wait for the actual result to be calculated. So it calculates first and then waits. Because like that, that is just more uh, cleaner for me. Not sure about everyone else. Okay, I'll wait to test the delay. So since uh, this is only once, um, we don't have to add delay here because we already did here. So it calculates and then writes whatever the user said. Okay, so if we run this, I think the answer um, it should work. Okay, let's see. Um, yes, hi, hello, welcome to the calculator. Please select the first number. So I'll make it 21 and it's calculating. Do you wanna add, subtract, multiply, or divide? Uh, I'll make it suppose like multiply and um, please select the second number. So I'm just finding the um, square root of one, I guess, and square root of 21, I guess, yeah. The answer is four for one, which is correct. Okay, so yeah, that's basically how you add uh, a delay to your programs. Please be sure to uh, add async tasks because that is the most important step other than actually doing that. Okay, so um, yeah, guys, that's it for today. Um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And yeah, stay safe, wear your mask. Bye, guys.